Praise God, praise God, boys and girls. I hope you woke up well. My name is Florence Fanny, and I'm happy to be here with you. Let's pray. Father, Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for the free gift of life. Thank you for giving us a good day, O oh Lord. Even as we are going to praise and worship you, O oh Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you may give us the energy. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do pray, believing and trusting. Amen. If you are the first time visitor to see us, please, uh, please, you can write here or you can write on the comments or you can feel free to join us because we lack visitors. And now it's time for praise and worship team. Please get a free space and get ready to serve the Lord. Praise God, children. I hope you had a fantastic week. Let's get ready to dance with the Almighty God. But you are the most I God. There is none like you, all the other God. Aliporo, 
so much to our worship team. They've led us well and uh, we are so glad that the Lord has blessed us with children who can lead worship. So thank you so much and also teacher Bernard who you can hear playing the keyboard nicely. So Florence, I have yes. something for you today. Okay. Who is your favorite Bible character? Jesus. Wow, it had to be Jesus. Now who can beat that? Eh? Who can beat that? Do you want to know mine? Yeah. Now, let me tell you my favorite Bible character. Okay. Jesus is my favorite. Lakini <laughs> napenda Zacchaeus. I like the story of Zacchaeus because of what he did when Jesus came to his house. Sawa, sawa. Now, I have a question for you. And I want you to tell me which character is this. And children also, I want you to Try guess who this character is. I am a woman and I lived in Jericho and I assisted the Israelites in capturing the city of Jericho by hiding two men. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I, children? Who am I? Rahab. Ah, oh, that was a simple one. Yes, the answer is Rahab. Uh huh. Another one. Let me see if you know this other one. Okay. Uh huh. I am one of the two sisters. The older one. You are married to someone who later on gave birth to many children who become the tribes of Israel. Who am I? Leah. Ah, you know your Bible and your characters very well. Ah, good. Do you want to try one on me? Yeah, two. Two, yeah. not one? Yeah. Okay, let's go, let's go. Shoot. Um, I was a disciple of Jesus. Uh -huh. I betrayed him. Okay. And I committed suicide. Uh -huh. Who am I? Bartholomew, not Bartholomew. Teren, teren. Teren, teren. Yeah, that guy was fake. We almost like fake. That was Judas. That was Judas. Okay, uh -huh. got it. Give me one more. You said two. Give me one more before we invite our speaker to tell us more. Okay. Uh -huh. I was the strongest man. Uh huh. And I disobeyed God by telling a woman my secrets. Ah, you're the strongest man. You disobeyed God by telling a woman your secret. Okay, that person. That person, that person. Can't be Gideon. <laughs> Gideon was the youngest. That must have been Samson. Yeah. Ah, good stuff. And last week, I forgot, we were talking about someone who told the people in her home country not to call her by her name, which she was used to, and she told them they call her Mara. Mara. Flo, do you know who that was? We can tell people who are watching because we were supposed to tell them last week. The answer is Naomi. Naomi. Yes, so it was Naomi because she was bitter. So let's invite our teacher who's going to speak to us. Who is it? Teacher who? Teacher Catherine. Karibu sana, Teacher Catherine. Children, do you appreciate Teacher Catherine? Good. Welcome, Teacher Catherine. Good morning, children. I hope you had a lovely night. My name is Teacher Catherine, and I'm glad to be with you this morning. Last week, last week we talked about Adam and Eve. They were given responsibilities, and they lived happily in the garden until one day, children, Eve was walking in the shamba. 
And here came the slithering snake. And you, as you know, the snake is a cunning animal. It can tell a lot of lies. It can use a lot of tricks. So we have to be careful. And this snake pretended to be a friend to Eve. And uh, the snake asked Eve, did God tell you not to eat any fruit in this garden? And Eve told the snake, because Eve thought this snake was a friend. So Eve told the snake that God told us not to eat the fruit in the middle. And here the slithering snake, the cunning animal, told Eve, God did not tell you the truth. God told you this because he knew if you eat this fruit, you will be wise. You will be like God. And Eve was thinking, I would like to be like God. So Eve decided to pick one of the fruits and she tasted it. And she felt, oh my goodness, this fruit is very yummy. So she decided to go to Adam. Remember we said Adam was the daddy and shared the fruit with Adam. God is watching, remember children? God was watching. Also, Adam took the fruit and ate the fruit. Now, the snake knew that what he did was wrong. He knew he had tricked them. And so he went to hide. And uh, Adam and Eve also discovered they, start, they, start, uh, they discovered they were naked. They didn't have clothes. So they went and hid. So in the evening, when God came to say goodnight to them, he did not see them. And he was looking, he was wondering, where is Adam? Where is Eve? And he called out, Adam, Eve, where are you? And they said, here we are, Lord. We are hiding. And then God asked, why are you hiding? Because we are naked. Who told you you are naked? Then Adam said, the woman, the mummy, you made for me, brought for me the fruit. And she was tricked by the slithering snake. And we ate the fruit. God was very sad. God was very upset. Huh? This is a very sad story because now here comes the fall of man. God was very upset because of this story. And because God called the snake and told the snake, now, why did you have to lie? You know, lying is not allowed. Lying is a sin. You are not allowed to lie. Why did you have to lie to the woman? Why did you have to lie to her? So God was very furious. He was very upset. He did not even show a smiling face. And he told the snake, because of lying, because of committing a sin, you will be crawling with your belly. You will be moving, eating dust. Children, just imagine. How much dust can you eat until you become full? You will be eating dust. And then God told Adam and Eve, now, you have also sinned. You did not listen to me. You did not use your listening ears. So from today henceforth, you will be having a lot of troubles. You will be having pain. You will, be, you, you will not be getting things easily. Imagine children. And that is how sin came into the world. And that is the end of my story. Now children, what do you think sin is? What do you think sin is? Sin is anything we do or say or think that is bad and does not please God. So anything that you do, anything that you say, anything that your little minds think and it is not good, it doesn't please God, that is sin. Have you ever sinned, children? Have you ever sinned? Do you know any Bible characters that ever sinned in the Bible? You can name them. You can tell uh, that is your homework. I'm giving you a homework. Today, find out any Bible characters that sinned and they were punished, like, just like this slithering snake. Okay. Why did Adam and, uh, Adam and Eve sin? We have said it is because of the cunning, the tricky, the tricky snake. Now, <clears throat> As we continue, uh, what did sin do? 
What did sin do? Sin made God angry. Children, are you happy when God feels angry, when God is upset about you? Remember we spoke last week and we said God loves us, God created us, and sometimes when we sin, God is very upset, God is not happy. And we want to see those things, those bad things that Adam and Eve brought into this world because of sin. Some of them are like killing. You have seen on your television, some people are killing each other, stealing. Some people do lie, abusing each other. And the worst of all is death. Children, have you ever Say, met people, have you ever seen people, they've lost someone, somebody has died in their family. Do you think death is a good thing, children? What do people do when somebody dies? People feel sad. People cry. They feel sad. There is so much sadness. When you lose your friend, when you lose somebody who is close to you, it is not a good thing. And this, all this came because of the slithering snake, uh, Telling lies. So children, we should be very careful. We should be very careful about our friends. We should look who our friends are. We should choose our friends. You don't just go and pick a friend who is telling you stealing is good, abusing is good, somebody who is not responsible. Children, you should know and choose your friends wisely. Now, number one, what I want you to know, what we are learning today from the story of the fall of man is that number one, sin is a very bad thing. Children, you have seen that sin brought death, so sin is a very bad thing. Another thing is that sin separates us from God, both now and forevermore. Children, sometimes we don't want to sin, but sometimes we just find ourselves, we are weak, and that is why we ask God, the Holy Spirit, to help us. The Holy Spirit is always there to help us. Sometimes you find you don't want to steal. Sometimes you just find your hands are just going to mommy's sugar. Sometimes you just feel like picking somebody's pencil, and you know that is a sin. So if you don't repent... If you don't repent, you are separated from God. And if you are separated from God, who is your friend then? Would you like to be the friend of the devil? Hmm? Would you like to be the friend of the snake? Children, do you like the snake? Teacher Catherine doesn't like the snake at all. It is not a good animal. Okay, number three. Oh, before we go to number three, in Romans 6.23, the Bible tells us, for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is is eternal life. You see, sin can lead to death, and nobody who likes death. Number three, everyone has sinned through the sin that Adam caused. We all struggle with sin, just as I have said. Sometimes you don't feel like sinning, but you find yourself in trouble. Mommy tells you, don't do this. Do your homework. Like now, you are at home. You are using your phones. You've been given your parents' phones to do homework, to do everything. But you, instead, you, you are just looking. Is mommy or daddy around? Instead of doing your homework, you are busy there with your phone, hmm? sending very funny emojis to your friends, doing games instead of doing uh, your homework. That is a big sin. That is a big sin because you are not obeying. You should do the right thing at the right time. In the book of Romans chapter 5, verse 12, it says, Therefore, just as sin entered the world through one man, and death through sin, and in this way death came to all people because of all sinned. And also in the book of Romans, the same, same book, chapter 3, verse 23, it says, For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. When we sin, what are we supposed to do? When, when we sin, we are supposed to repent. We are supposed to go before God. We are supposed to tell God, sorry. Always remember to use the magic words. Sorry, excuse me, uh, thank you, please. Always, anytime you sin, say sorry to your mommy. Say sorry, you do something bad to your friend. You have to say sorry. If you want, to, you want something, you have to ask. Please, excuse me. So we've seen, um, we were in number three, now we are in number four. The Bible says, uh, before we go to number four, the Bible says in 1 John chapter 1, verse 8, if we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not 
in us. We cannot lie that we do not sin. We sin every day. But as long as we sin and repent, God is happy with us. But we are not, not just going to sin and say, ah, I'll steal this pencil and God will forgive me. That is not true. If you sin intentionally, if you sin intentionally, God watches and God sees you. So always try to be on the right track. Always try to do your best. Number four, we should repent of every sin in our lives. I've talked about uh, repenting. We should repent. We should pray for one another. We should ha help our friends. If there is somebody, if there is my friend, for example, maybe I can say Teacher Mili is struggling with something. I can help her. I can help her to be on the right track. We should always pray for repentance. Um, in the book of uh, First John, 1.9, it says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteous, unrighteousness. Okay, that is about uh, being forgiven and you cannot be forgiven if, you are, if you've not been, if you have not repented. So children, today I want to do a prayer. Before we do a memory verse, we are going to do a prayer and ask God. Because we've been struggling with sin, we don't want to sin. But many at times we find ourselves sinning. Many at times we find ourselves in trouble. So today children, we are closing our eyes and telling God that God will help us. The Holy Spirit will guide us in everything. So let's pray. Father God Almighty, we come before you this morning, everlasting Father. Many are times we find ourselves in trouble. We don't intend to do sins, Jehovah God, but you have given us a, you a helper. Holy Spirit is always with us, my God. Anytime we are staggering, Jehovah God, not to sin and we sin. Father God, you'll always send the Holy Spirit to guide us and you will remind us all the time to repent. We pray this believing and trusting in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our memory verse today comes from the book of Romans 6. 23. The Bible says, for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life. Let's go together. Romans 6, uh, verse 23, it says, for the wages of sin is death. Death, children. Huh? For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life. Before I finish, I'm going to call Pastor Nicholas to continue from there. Bye-bye, children. May you have a lovely weekend. I love you. We love you, Teacher Catherine. Thank you so much. Who loves Teacher Catherine? Hasn't she taught us so well throughout this month of September? I've really, really enjoyed the lessons, and I know you've also enjoyed your lesson. So we want to thank God for this month and what he has taught us. And I'm here also just to bring an announcement to us, children and parents, that our children's ministry, Sunday school specifically, has been going on for the last two weeks. We want to thank you parents who've been slowly bringing your children and those who are also calling just to find out how things are going on so that they can see how they can come with their children. We want to thank you so much. But also we want to thank you because you've continued to watch our online services, both on Facebook and also on Riverside TV. And you've been giving us feedback on how you've been, uh, uh, how these lessons have been blessing your children. So we would like to continue even doing this in person as much as we can. So we would like to invite you uh, that you will uh, begin bringing your children whenever you feel okay, whenever you feel safe. But we want to encourage you. As a church, and with the help of many children workers, we are ready to receive your children from the ages of six to class eight in our normal class setups. Uh, that is class one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, and also the preschool who are aged six years old. So our children, we ensure temperature is checked, they wash their hands, they sit in a manner that there is space and also we've limited activities that where they touch each other or hug each other. <laughs> you know how children are, but we want to really, really pray that you will come together 
as a body of Christ, all of us, and just see how we can continue to minister to our children. So if you have any questions, our number is on the screen. Call anytime during the week to ask anything concerning our children, uh, the children's ministry, and also if you need prayer. If you need prayer for your children, for your family, please call us. We are here uh, to minister to you. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for tuning in. We love you so much. And God bless you. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye. Hello. Thank you so much for interacting with our uh, social media content. Maybe you're there looking for a church or you gained interest about our church and you'd like to, to join and become a member of the church. We want you to send your phone number and your name to our WhatsApp line. We'll get in touch with you and show you how you can be a member of this amazing church. Let's change the world today.